Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Today I'll be talking about how you can play MK Mobile on your PC. Basically you know well that I'm using emulator because it's easier for me to record and quite honestly I failed every time to cast audio from my mobile device to my PC. So if you guys uh, know an easy way to do that please let me know in the comments because I fail every time. Anyways, uh, as you can see I'm using uh, Bluestacks. It's a very nice emulator in my opinion one of the best because i tried a few more but none of them actually was um, compatible with mk mobile so what you have to do is press on the download button then you'll find the installer press on it and then next 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 and long story short this will install the emulator to your machine once you have installed it you can click on it start it and uh, usually takes about uh, 30 seconds to one minute to load on my machine probably it is a computer dependent so um, the faster your computer is the faster the emulator will load and once it loads you have to download the game first so you have to go to the google play store it is uh, the same as if you are on your mobile device no issue there then type in mortal kombat then search and you can see the first thing that will appear is mortal kombat mobile in my case, it is already installed, so I have only the option to open it. But if you haven't installed it and that's your first time on emulator, you'll have to download it first. So let's start the game. And you can see now, I can see my controls. Basically, you have to, you can block by pressing the E on your keyboard. You can attack by pressing Q or the left button of the mouse. And you can swipe in order to finish basic attack combinations or in order to perform some mini games or special attacks by pressing W, S, A and D. When it comes to the characters, you can swap them by pressing 1, 2 or 3, you can pause the game by pressing P and you can use moves, in, when I say moves I mean special abilities by pressing Z, X and C. And by the way, all these controls can be edited, you don't need to stick to this current control setup. By pressing the edit on the top right corner of the window, you will be able to change the controls but I already got used to the current ones, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so we are in MK Mobile already, guys, so let's do a faction war so I can demonstrate how you can use Bluestacks in order to be successful in battles in terms of minigames and so on. All right, in order to demonstrate uh, how to use your mini attacks in emulator, I'm going to use this team. Reason being, uh, it's a very good team and I can show you some tricks so that you can perform better on certain mini games. So let's start. So I'll risk everything. Actually, I'm not going to risk anything. I'm just going to do an X-ray. When you're doing an X-ray, guys, nothing you have to do. You just have to press C on your keyboard and that's it. However, when you're doing a mini game, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to do this Jade and then I'm going to use, actually. Yes. So. If you're using special tool and it has two circles, you have to keep in mind uh, that only by pressing Q, only one of the circles will fill, you see? The other circle stays like this. So if you want to score full 100%, you have to press with the mouse the left circle and on the right circle, you have to use the button key on your keyboard. That's the first That's the first advice I can give you when it comes to using uh, blue stacks and when it comes to successfully hitting 100% on a minigame. Uh, by the way, the same applies to the single tap, uh, to the multi-tap circle minigame. You know, when there's only one circle and you have to fill it, you can use both your mouse and the Q button. Once again, I'm putting in, uh, I'm using Kitana. You can see I'm pressing the Q, but if I put the mouse in as well, it's getting much faster because uh, both the mouse and the key button of your keyboard will help you deal 100%. More or less, um, Judging from my observations, the hardest thing, the hardest minigames on an emulator are the same uh, as if it is the mobile version. I'm talking about the diagonal swipe, the, hor the horizontal swipe and the vertical swipes as well, pretty hard. Especially the diagonal swipe because um, the mouse cannot help you there. And this is the easiest one because, you know, I'm pressing the left circle, the left circle with my uh, mouse and the right circle with my Q button. So it is so much easier to score 100%. Also, the same applies to... Um, well, as I already mentioned, the same applies to the single multi-tap circle. All you have to do is keep hitting Q and just clicking the left button on the mouse inside the circle. It will be guaranteed that you're going to score 100%. 
And then the last thing, probably the last thing I can share is uh, if you, let's say I'm going to do a quick team using, uh, actually I can do it on this team. Yeah, it will be perfectly fine. So again, like the mobile version, if you use emulate, it is very hard to do the bubbles because you have to click with them. We have to click on the screen with your mouse. There's no other option. You can see I'm trying to, I'll put, I'll tag in my Melina. I will try to get my special too, so I can show you the bubbles. Let's see? All right. So I have to click on every circle with my mouse, and I failed. I failed to score hundred percent, unfortunately. And if you're doing um, special like scorpions, a very easy mini game, all you have to do is uh, press the mouse or, uh, or any button. On the keyboard and that will suffice it's pretty simple so in a nutshell uh, the hardest special attacks mini games first the bubbles and second the diagonal and the horizontal swipes because you cannot really use the mouse or you can use the mouse but not that effectively with the horizontal swipe and if you're using only your keyboard usually you don't score a lot of points get over here Okay guys, I hope this video was useful for you. Please let me know in the comments if you have any further questions on um, the emulator. I really cannot think of any further advice I can give you. Just remember that you can use your mouse for certain mini attacks so that you can guarantee that you're going to score 100%. And of course, sometimes the emulator will crash. It is not that often, but still, if it does crash, it is not a big deal. Just restart it and it will be fine. So thank you very much for watching guys and have a wonderful day. Take care. Perfect. Perfect.